kind of hear the engine sounds rough and it's also slow to respond to the throttle. Normally more crisp than that. So now I'm going to use the uh, consult tool to turn one cylinder off at a time to see which one's misfiring. Turning off cylinder one. Turning off cylinder two. Turning off cylinder three. Turning off cylinder four. Turning off cylinder five. And lastly, turning off uh, cylinder number six. The only cylinder that didn't change the sound of the engine was two, so let's do two one more time. I'm gonna turn it off now. And you hear no change in the sound of the engine. That means number two cylinder is not firing. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna figure out why the um, cylinder is misfiring. And um, so the way to do that, the first thing I'm gonna do because the fuel injectors on this car are 25 years old, is I'm gonna, this is, I have a PCV relocation on this car, so that's why I have this part here. Your car will probably not have this. Inside of here is the fuel injector. Um, all right, so I pulled that off. Okay, there is the fuel injector right there. Um, this is a new style. And uh, I'm gonna take the voltmeter and I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna check the resistance of it basically. Um, and it should read between 10 and 15. All right, so there it is, zero ohms, which means it's an open circuit. Just for a added check, I'm just gonna make sure the ground at least, uh, the ground to the fuel injector is still okay. So this is the connector and I'm gonna shove this guy in to the uh, ground side. Well, I'm gonna try both sides. I don't know which one is the ground, but one of them needs to be. And what I did was, this little thing is piano wire. You can buy it at any hobby store and it works awesome so there you go so that's good ground so we know the grounds aren't screwed up and then you can't check the positive because it gets fired by the ecu so it's open right now so you're not going to get any data from that but we already know that the injector is um shot and you can't be mad at that because it's 25 year old injectors when i rebuilt the motor i they're total you know 700 bucks and i thought well they all read okay, so I left them in. So I got seven more years out of them, and now I gotta replace them. So it's all good, I'm not mad at you, Nissan. So one other way I was able to tell that the number two cylinder was misfiring was uh, using this thing. The number one, three, five, one, three, four, five, and six cylinders were reading like 450 Fahrenheit, and the number two cylinder was reading uh, 200 Fahrenheit which tells me it was the one that wasn't firing. So even without the consult, that's a way to tell which one's misfiring. And then the other way is to unplug the coils one at a time, which does the same thing that the computer did. Um, that's the other way to do it.